Hello friends! In this video, I prepared a very comprehensive video about the third season of What If. As you know, a trailer was released for the third season of What If, and it was really good. In this video, I will explain the new characters we will see in the new season. Before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support us. First, I want to briefly talk about the trailer. In the trailer, we saw many new characters and impressive scenes. It's clear from the trailer that this season is going to be really good. The release date for the first episode was announced as December 22nd. Also, viewers who have watched the series said that this season is much better than the previous ones. The only downside for this season is that it will be the final season. I think that's wrong because this series tells the stories of events in the multiverse in such different ways. In other words, it has virtually unlimited content, and this series could have been aired every year. Just think about it, there are so many events in Marvel that it's actually easy to tell these stories in different ways. Therefore, I was expecting this series to continue at least until 2028. Anyway, let me now explain the characters we'll see in the new season. First, there is Storm, who makes an amazing entrance at the end of the trailer. Storm will use Thor's hammer Mjolnir in this series. By the way, she will be the first mutant in the MCU to wield Thor's hammer. We don't know in which episode she will appear, but we will probably see her closer to the final episodes. The next character is White Vision. White Vision first appeared in WandaVision, and he will appear in many other productions in the future. His role in this series has been confirmed through the trailer. It seems he will appear as a villain. Next up is a character that really surprised me, Agatha Harkness. After Agatha all along, she continues her story as a ghost in the 616 universe. She holds a very important place in MCU's witchcraft lore, and we'll see her again in this series. The next character is Kaecilius. Kaecilius first appeared in Doctor Strange. He served Dormammu and gained powers from the Dark Dimension. He is expected to serve Dormammu once again in this series. One of the episodes will probably focus on magic, so Dormammu... Doctor Strange and Kaecilius might appear in that episode. By the way, Dormammu will also make his first appearance in the new season. Another character we'll see is Riri Williams, aka Ironheart. There will be a series about Ironheart in 2025 where we will have a chance to learn more about her. We have already seen her in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. One of the characters that intrigued me the most is Erisham. In one episode, they will likely explore celestial beings. Marvel will explore celestial beings in the future, and we will see a different version of Erisham's story in this episode. Another new character is Kate Bishop. MCU has a long-term plan for Kate Bishop, and a new series about her is also rumored to be coming. In the episode she appears in, Shang-Chi will also be featured. This will be the first time we'll see both of them in a series, though the plot of the episode is still uncertain. Quentin Beck's Mysterio will also be in the series. Although we haven't seen him anywhere after Far From Home, he will return soon. It seems that a very different version of Mysterio will be shown, one that is more technologically advanced and a true supervillain, as he appears with some futuristic technologies. Another character is Ranger Morales. This character has never been seen in the MCU before. He will take the lead role in an episode focused on the younger versions of Red Guardian and Winter Soldier. Another character is Birdie, who will appear in an episode with Captain Carter and Kahori. He will be part of their team. Birdie is a new original character inspired by Marvel Comics Falcon with organic wings, and we will see him in the series. One of the most beloved and powerful characters, Moon Knight, will also appear in the series for the first time. We might see him as an important member, or even the leader, of the Mech Suit Avengers. In the trailer, Moon Knight is seen strategizing with the Avengers, which is an exciting possibility. Another character making their first appearance is Kingo. From the trailer, it seems he will appear in the same episode as Agatha. Finally, Monica Rambo will also be in the series for the first time. Monica, who has an important future in the 616 universe, will appear as a member of the Avengers in this series. Well, friends, thank you for watching the video up to this point. In the video, I've explained the new characters we will see in the series. There may be many more new characters in the series, but these are the important ones shown in the trailer. I really love this series and it's very enjoyable to watch. So, what do you think about this video? Share your thoughts in the comments. Take care and goodbye.